Today I wanted to see if I could set a world record in distance driven on one breath underwater with underwater scooter. The scooters I'm using is two Lafitte S1 Pros with a hip mount. Four years ago I did a similar thing with the Lafitte prototype. Then I managed to go 225 meters which I think is the current world record. At that time I used only one scooter and I was hanging behind it. So using two more powerful scooters should make me faster and using the hip mount should make it more relaxing so it's easier to hold the breath. But as you can see in the video, in the beginning of this record attempt I had problems with a mask filling with water and I had to adjust it and get the water out. You can see some air bubbles rising in the water as I'm blowing air into the mask to empty it of water. This for sure will affect how long I'm able to hold the breath. When I filmed the video 4 years ago I used 4 minutes and 45 seconds to go 225 meters. At that time my breath hold ability with normal air when laying still without doing anything was about 745. To manage to do a maximum breath hold you need to lay completely still and relax. Just thinking about stuff affects how long you can hold. In 2020 I did my longest breath hold which was 945. Last year I had an accident and I had to stop training for 6 months. So at the moment of filming this video I'm able to do just over 7 minutes when laying completely still. To prepare for the record attempt I was in the warm pool for 25 minutes doing breathing exercises. Breathing for 2 minutes, then holding for 3 minutes, breathing 2 minutes, holding 3.30 etc. In the end I did a 6 minute breath hold before I went to the big pool when I was breathing for 4 minutes and then I started. As you can see from the position of my body at times I'm bent at the hips. That is not ideal. I should have had one more kilo on my weight belt that should have fixed it and made me more streamlined. There's one camera at each end of the pool, one camera on the middle of the pool and one on my mask filming down. In addition Melanie is filming with a camera from above so you can see the whole video uncut in the top right corner. Before starting I thought with my breath hold ability at about 7 minutes I would be able to do around 5 minutes with the scooter. It took most energy and I lost most speed in the turning. If you look at me in the video now you can see that I'm doing something with the scooter. That is actually me thinking they should be faster and checking the speed settings. There are 3 different settings on these scooters, slow, normal and fast and I noticed they were set at normal, meaning I was not going as fast as possible. So I changed it to fast. I instantly felt a speed increase but it started to pull a bit to the right because I did not manage to push the button all the way on the right scooter. Then I pushed it again and the speed increased even more. In the rounds when the speed setting was set at normal I used about 45 seconds to travel one distance which is 50 meters. That is 1 minute and 30 seconds on 100 meters. So I have now used 3 minutes on 200 meters. With the speed setting set to fast I was now traveling 50 meters in about 38 seconds. Meaning I should have been able to travel 200 meters in about 2 and a half minutes. I started getting contractions already at 2 minutes and 30 seconds. That is the diaphragm contracting trying to make you breathe due to the buildup of CO2 in the lungs. I was not expecting this before around 3.30. But it probably came earlier because of all the air I lost in the beginning due to the mask problem, the constant adjustment I had to do due to not ideal weight balance and the fiddling with the scooter. You can see a slight difference when you look at me how fast I'm going. But with the speed setting set too fast it actually feels much faster than it looks and it's much more fun. Even though it's starting to get increasingly more uncomfortable to hold the breath and the contractions are getting stronger. I for sure have to try this again when everything is ideal. Maybe I even add another scooter to get the speed up even more. Having one scooter on each hip plus a powerful one to hang behind will use more energy but for sure it will be a lot more fun and probably more entertaining to watch. Maybe I use up the air faster with 3 scooters but traveling faster will get me a further distance in a shorter time meaning I don't have to sit here and come up with all these things to say and speak constantly for 5 minutes to keep you from skipping to the end to just see how long I actually did and then skipping to another video. I'm actually just gonna tell you how long I did and stop speaking nonsense. I did 400 meters in the end. Thank you for watching, let me know in the comments what kind of videos I make you enjoy the most. I will now put on a super epic song for you so I look cool as I get to the finish line.